Hey you guys, what's up? It's Anime Blaze coming to you with another video, that is right. And welcome to Blaze Games, the portion of my channel where I talk about video games and video game related things. Now, don't expect anything professional because, like I've said before, I'm not a professional. So, yeah, just a guy on the internet who likes talking about anime and video games and wants to make videos about them. So, let's go. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Kingdom Hearts 3 and a few other things Kingdom Hearts related that might be on my mind. And uh, I want to see what you guys think about it. The main topic of the video will be the title of um, the video, so you don't have to worry about that. But um, yeah, with Kingdom Hearts 3 being on the horizon for literally almost eight years, or even more, um, if I'm not mistaken, um, People have finally, you know, jumped out of their seats and clapped their hands and said, Thank you, Square Enix. You finally delivered something, even though, you know, it was, it was just the trailer. Hey, at least we know Kingdom Hearts 3 is in development, right? So, you know, that's a thing. People are really, really hyped up and excited about it. Heck, I'm excited about it. Uh, I started with Kingdom Hearts 2, and I've been, I've played every single Kingdom Hearts game, and me and a lot of my friends have kept saying, stop releasing the side games and just get on with the main story, you know? And this is kind of a bone I have to pick with King, uh, with Square on this whole problem, or this whole thing, is because if you look at a lot of the different games in the Kingdom Hearts series, um, with, like, Birth by Sleep, for example, in my own opinion, I don't think that Birth by Sleep was needed, because it's like, if you really look at it, it's like, okay, the story could have continued with just us knowing that, hey, you know, um, Sora's the Keyblade Master, Riku was supposed to be the Keyblade Master, but, you know, he's, uh, you know, he, he's improving himself so that, you know, he can resist the darkness and everything. And then there's Kairi, who's also a Keyblade Master now, apparently. Then all of the, you know, the other things that happened in between. Um, but... We could have gone without Terra, Ventus, and Aqua, in my own opinion, because if you really look at it, aside from everything else that happened in the story, we're, like, we could have been just fine. Zay like, Xehanort the Heartless, you know, was Xehanort the Heartless. He was an enemy, defeated him. Xemnas, his, uh, what was it? Xemnas, his nobody, defeated him in Kingdom Hearts 2. Or at least that was the perception of it anyway. But, um, yeah, it's like we defeated him in Kingdom Hearts 2. That's, you know, cool, dandy, all good to go, right? Wrong. Um, we get thrown in, you get a wrench thrown into all this and saying the mastermind of why all this stuff will keep repeating and keep continuing is Master Xehanort, the old man Xehanort, the, the guy from Birth by Sleep. And I don't really know if this game was needed. I really don't. It just seems like it was added on and tacked on, in my own opinion. Leave your comments in the comment section below what you think about it. Um, you know, then there was uh, 358 Days Over 2. I'm just going to go briefly over this. Uh, you know, told the story of Roxas when he was in Organization 13. Didn't need it. Kingdom Hearts Recoded. Uh, kind of needed it, but kind of didn't because it was just... Uh, remake of a cell phone game that came out in Japan and had one cutscene in it that actually told us, I guess, the prelude to uh, Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, if I'm not mistaken. Um, might be. I don't know. But that's just the thing, you know. That's that's just the bone I have to pick with Square. That's that's that, but let's, let's go back to Kingdom Hearts 3. Let's move back to Kingdom Hearts 3 for a second. Um... You know, one of the things that I do, I kind of have a bone to pick with on this, just for Kingdom Hearts 3, calm down now. One of the things that I might have a problem with is this kind of speculation, but not so much speculation as it's almost been confirmed, possibly. Check it out. Um, Tetsuya Namura or somebody else that has worked within, uh, you know, Square Enix and has worked extensively on the Kingdom Hearts games has stated before in interviews and you know many other things that this is just the beginning. This is just the Xehanort saga. And my question is to you guys, if this thing continues on, like seriously, I mean, we have waited like literally years 
for Kingdom Hearts 3 to come out. Years. And many of us have had in the back of our minds, this is it. This is going to be the final game. This is what we've all been waiting for. This is going to be the final shebang to this Xehanort guy. We're going to put it into it. Light is going to trump over light is going to win over darkness and that'll be the end of it right but they, they've said before that not nah, nasa nah, this is not the end of the kingdom hearts franchise this is just the xehanort saga there's going to be much much more apparently if this if this is just speculation i hope it's not but i've seen it i've read it in multiple different places i hope i'm hoping it doesn't become this and some of you might be saying heck yeah I'd be up for some more Kingdom Hearts games, but my question, my reason behind it is this. After Kingdom Hearts, or up to this point where Kingdom Hearts is finally at, and knowing that people have waited so long just to get Kingdom Hearts 3, would you be willing to continue playing the Kingdom Hearts games? I'm just being like dead serious here, because if the series, like, in my mind, I'm thinking to myself, how can this series continue? And in my mind, I don't see how else they can continue with it. It's like, okay, we got Sora, we got all these other guys, uh, you know, we got Trump over darkness, free all of his friends, this, that, and the other, and things will become clear, crystal clear. So maybe they'll bring in another Keyblade wielder? I don't know. Maybe, maybe something else will happen. I, I don't freaking know, but in my own mind, in my own mind, I don't want Kingdom Hearts to become a game like Final Fantasy. And by that, I mean, I don't want multiple different random spin-offs with multiple different characters spanning from, you know, different universes and different timelines and different stories and all these other things. And for some games to end up like, let me put it like this. I don't want Kingdom Hearts 3 or King, any Kingdom Hearts games to wind up becoming like a Final Fantasy 13 kind of thing because a lot of people hated Final Fantasy 13 and they really hated Final Fantasy 13-2. I'd hate to see Kingdom Hearts become another Final Fantasy. I, I don't know how this game will continue after that or if I would even continue to play it uh, because of that. I don't know. I'd have to see. It's possibly that I would. Possible that I would. I don't know guys. So with that being said this is the Anime Blaze signing off saying never doubt your capabilities because you never know what you might be able to do. And in the comment section or even in a video response, whatever you feel comfortable doing, it uh, doesn't matter to me. Let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think that Kingdom Hearts 3 could continue? Or do you think that events after Kingdom Hearts 3 could potentially work out? Are you comfortable with knowing that Kingdom Hearts 3 could potentially just be the end of the Xehanort Saga and be the beginning of more Kingdom Hearts games to come. Would you be comfortable with, you know, more characters? Would you be comfortable with, you know, would you be okay if it kind of evolved into something kind of like Final Fantasy? Honestly, man, I just don't know. So, anyway, guys, um, I'll catch you later in whatever it may be happening that I decide to do. Later.